Hello, this is Marcelo Valau, Forge Extension Specialist for the University of Florida. We're here at White Oak Dairy in Lafayette County to harvest our first date of the variety trial, the cool season variety trial. We're about 64 days after planting and we have a beautiful stand here. Uh, we did have uh, several days with uh, several frost days between Christmas and New Year, so about two weeks ago where the temperatures were ranging from the low 20s to mid 40s during the day. So we had many days that uh, temperature didn't raise above the 40s. And we can see a lot of cold damage. We're seeing a lot of uh, cold damage on oats, really depends on the species variety and also on the management and phase. We see that some of the, the bigger, the more advanced, more mature, Pastures are not suffering as much and also some of the younger ones where the cold was not too bad or there was a mixture with rye or triticale or other forages, also they stand better. But it's very variable, we cannot say what is happening here and there. We noticed that some of the pasture that very well managed, the oats are done. And we also noticed that between the different oats there is some difference. Let's go and take a look at the varieties here and uh, we can check some of this damage that we're seeing. So starting with the rye here is the earliest maturing small grain that we have. Uh, we have four different varieties of rye here, starting with uh, 405, Florida 405 rye, Kelly Grazer 3, Renza Brazilian and Elbon. We see that the rye is doing quite well, even with the cold weather. This is 64 days after planting and this uh, has received some nutrients, some nitrogen uh, fertilization and also uh, wastewater irrigation. Our second group of uh, of uh, species here is triticale. We have Trical 342 and the new ones, Florida 08128, that are doing super well and much better than you can see here. Fridge, which is a new addition to the market that has actually developed uh, in other states and is not very, very well adapted to here. The wheat uh, never does too well here in Florida. In this, uh, in this pasture here, it's kind of, in this trial here, it's kind of good compared to some other places, but uh, it also suffered from the cold weather. Uh, those are black oats here. The black oats are a different species from the regular oats we know. And those are experimental varieties here. They're not doing too well with this cold weather. The oats here in this farm are kind of surprisingly good uh, based on what I've seen on other places. You can see some of the tips that are white and has some injuries, especially there where there is a lower spot but it's not as bad as some of the other places we have seen. Actually, the in the background here, if you can see this is uh, oat. It's an oat field and, uh, and it all looks very good. The field next door, I don't know if it was planted a little bit later, but there is much more damage. You can see, you can see here the damage on the leaves. The leaves are turning white. The tip of the leaves are turning white. We saw some variety difference here, just kind of a visual ranking. It seems like the Horizon 306, which is the second, which is the second oat here. This one is standing in front, is doing a little better than than the other ones. We have Legend 567, Horizon 306, Horizon 720, and Juggernaut and Cocker 227. Actually, the Cocker is not doing as as bad as expected. It's not one of the better varieties we have is not the ones that we recommend. Uh, here are our rye grasses. It's pretty impressive stand of rye grasses here, especially for 65 days uh, after planting for this early in the season, starting with the earliest variety, which is early ployed, big boss, frost proof, jumbo, and golf. Golf is a common variety. You never know what you're getting. It seems to be doing fairly well here, but normally we start seeing a lot of disease issues later on in the season. We also are playing with some legumes here. We have three different winter peas. The first one is icicle, second is keystone, and third is Austrian winter pea. They're producing quite well. Our chickpea trial has not worked too well here, you can see. And our last plots of uh, monocultures are the hairy vetches. It's common in Auburn Merritt. We have Patagonia on the other end here. Those four plots here, last four plots here, are mixtures. The taller, the taller grass that you're seeing is uh, 405 rye, and the shorter grass uh, is triticale, trichol 342. 
mixed with uh, either winter peas or, or hairy vetch. And this is Patagonia. <laughs>